Good, Good morning. morning from a sea day. The sun is out. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's not rocky. There's mountains to our right. It is a lovely day. It is. <laughs> we are dressed in our workout gear because yeah. we're going to go grab some breakfast probably in the dining room. I think so. Get our workout on and yep. then see what the heck we want to do with this day. Yes. I'm excited. Let's do it. <laughs> From deck two to deck nine. Boom, 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 boom. And done. Now we've come outside to experience some of this typical September Alaska weather that we've got going on. <laughs> wow. This is a beautiful day and not typical at all. <laughs> Look at all this smooth whale water. We're just waiting for something. Yeah. Yeah. Broken free of the cabin again. It is deal or no deal time, actually. Oh man, 20, 30, or 40, depending on how many cards you want. Oh, they've got a TV screen set up. I see their phone over there for the banker. They've got their button for the deal making. All right. All of those of you in the audience who have purchased tickets, you also stand a chance of winning a thousand. Today. Who's excited to win a thousand dollars? Yes, of course we are. But you know when the ship was so rough? It's because we went off course. It's because we went to go pick up the banker. Uh, and one of the days the ship was rocking is because his submarine locked onto the ship. We have our first contestant. Everyone give it up for Terry. I need you to choose a case where you believe a thousand dollars is waiting for you right now. You've decided number six. Yes. Okay. What is your first case you would like to open? Uh huh. Okay. Do you have an offer? Not bad. A hundred and seventy-five dollars. Over the microphone. No deal. No deal. We keep on playing. Give it up for Timmy, everyone. Something hit it, hit the button for me. Deal, everyone, congratulations. Give it up for Terry. Well done, Terry. You've taken a deal of $126. Congratulations, that's yours. It's not going anywhere. However, we need to help the audience win more matches so that they can potentially win more. What would you have done? Would you have kept it or would you have swapped it? You would have kept it. Can we look at case number nine? What's in case number six? Congratulations, you made a good deal. Congratulations, give it up for Terry from Well done, Terry. I've just had confirmation from the banker that he's ready to choose his next contestant. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for Deal or No Deal. Hope you had a little bit of fun here with us today. We'll have Bingo again at 3 o'clock in Bolvar on board. Welcome to the cafe. Oh, we're seeing whales from the window. Yeah, they're kind of far away. It looked like either a two of them or a double spout. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, over here at the station, they've got 2%, half and half, and almond milk. Artificial sweeteners. Oh, they even have a little bucket of stevia sugar there. We have got our iced Americanos. We got a couple of carrot muffins. These doors are not automatic, so let me push them. <laughs> Now we can enjoy some iced coffees and some <laughs> muffins in the sunshine. <laughs> we are going to bounce over to the shady side, actually. Plus, it's the land side. This is the side our balcony is not on. We haven't gotten these views today. So over on this side, he is making whale noises. And we are looking at mountains as we make this little swing from Anchorage down to Valdez. I asked the proper pronunciation from our resident folks yesterday. They said Val D's. I'm like, all right, I can go with that. 
Got all these snowy mountains fading off into the distance. And now, a continuation of our previous mission. We confirmed that this goes all the way around the back of the ship, this deck. Let's confirm if it goes around the front of the ship. Got all these little windows up here. Oh man, that's a lot of benches. Okay, confirmed it does wrap all the way around the front. Oh yeah, this is advertised as the outdoor walk around deck. Deck three. Oh, we also found the service animal relief area. <laughs> Here's where they keep their D's on deck three. This little window, you can be sheltered. You can find some sunshine. Lean forward if you want to and get the sun on your face. That's an old world. Well, if nothing else, we can jellyfish spot. We're actually seeing quite a few of them down here in the, in the dark water. Makes them a little easier to see. Well, we found a couple of loungers and this will be where we will be oh, if you need us. Yeah. Tea time's coming up soon. We've decided to skip lunch. Mm -hmm. Hopefully check out tea time. Yeah, yeah. And now it is time for the tea. Oh, well, they do have mixology today also. I think it was a cosmopolitan class today, if memory serves, but they have another one coming up later, which is margaritas. We'll go to that one. <laughs> Welcome to level three of the dining room. Oh, I am ready for it. <laughs> so let us explore. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but we are gonna find out. I mean, I know what a scone is. Stuff like that. Oh, there's a cart going by. Oh, that was just glasses. Okay, so there's the good stuff. They brought us black tea, Splenda, or sugar. I mean, you know, all these color options. Let's get a little dairy shot right there. Oh, wow. It's a milk nato. All right, layer by layer. Looks like we got an egg salad. I see a brie. I don't know what this is quite yet. Chicken or tuna, maybe? Probably. That one. Oh, yes. That's where your scones live. And then there's that top layer again that we can see. <laughs> The scone debate continues. Now it looks like they've given us a non-fruit scone and a fruit scone. On the non-fruit scone, they appear to have put the jam on the bottom and the cream on top. Interestingly enough, camera, if you would continue focusing, the fruit scone, they put cream on the bottom, jam on top. Whoa. Now standard beignet rules apply when eating these scones. Do not breathe and pump this powdered sugar everywhere, okay? Fair warning. Well, that was delightful late lunch. <laughs> Room. And now, relax mode until we eventually get ready for dinner later. We will see you in a while. Good, Good evening. evening. It's not quite, well, we're doing things a little differently tonight. We do that. I think we're going to chill out a while, mm -hmm. wait for the early show to happen. Yeah. Late dinner because I'm um, tea time. I'm not hungry. <laughs> That's all I know. So we're going to go kill some time mm -hmm. and we'll catch up to y'all. Well, we'll show you what we do, except it might involve the adult arcade and we can't show you that part. <laughs> and I don't know if we can film the show either, but if we can, we'll oh, show you that, obviously. Because so. I think it's a fly-on entertainer mm -hmm. that's like a singing group. So I'm yeah. about to let you. Oh, well. We'll show you what we can tonight. What yeah. the heck? Let's do stuff. Let's do it. Well, so time has passed and now it is showtime. So this group is called Major Fourth. We're presenting our four singers in the group Major Fourth. They're gonna take you on a tour of songs through the decades and they'll be out in just a few moments. I wish you a great day tomorrow in Valdez and I hope you enjoy tonight's performance with the Major Fourth. Thanks everyone. We want to let you know that recording of any kind is not permitted during performances. Thank you. Well, now it is dinner time. Oh, we are here for the sunset. Look at that. Well, we have got a table with a view, and that view is the sunset tonight. Don't stare directly at it.
Cause it's Friday, Friday. <laughs> Gotta go cruising on Deck Friday. Deck five, Miranda Deck. <laughs> Good night. Good night. With that, we are going to turn in. Tired. Port day tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be like the coldest it's ever been in Alaska. Mm. Then when we've been here, like right. 30s. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the coldest day we've had, maybe other than probably even colder than our glacier days, yeah. actually. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> anyway, so how was the show? Major Force. It was so good. I was happy to see an all singing show. Me um, too. You know, because we love all dancing shows, but this was cool. It was basically like they could have been an acapella group. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they were that good, but they did sing with background vocals, but they had not background vocals, music, the tracks, track yeah. music. Um, but they had choreography, lots of good personality, amazing singing voices, and they did a variety of like different genres and like years they and really things did. like that. Like, and changed some of it around. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. they had Taylor Swift. They did Mbop. I was going to say, I they loved like Mbop. It was like not expected, but it was good. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Good show. Overall. I'll go see their other one for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I guess they're kind of like an in house production group, sort of. Like, if you look on Holland's website, it talks about the dance company and it talks about this group as well. Yeah. So, that's cool. Yeah. Anyway, right. let's get to dinner, shall we? You had a shrimp taco. This was good very hard to eat because it was a crunchy taco <laughs> shell with like shrimp and things in it so it ended up being more like a shrimp tostada <laughs> oh, yeah. Busted apart. Uh, but everything was really well balanced and had lots of flavor i like how they decorated your plate with beans yeah i had the thai beef this was pretty dang excellent it's a cold beef dish I don't know what the seasonings on it were, but they were um, bright and like acidic, but in a good way. There was like some little peanuts in there, I think. Lettuce. I don't know what the um, orange stuff was, but I ate it and it was good. <laughs> so get that if you like cold beef dishes. I'm the only one who got a second appetizer. I got the beet salad. Now this was advertised as beets, orange segments, and feta cheese. Mm -hmm. It was beets and orange segments on sweetened vanilla yogurt. <laughs> There were pistachios. I enjoyed the beets and the oranges. I enjoyed the vanilla yogurt. I did not enjoy them together, so there was no yeah. feta that I could find. Mm -mm. That, was <clears throat> that was a different one for me. <laughs> Sweetened vanilla yogurt and beets and stuff did not go well together, so maybe mm -mm, mm -mm, no. <laughs> you got whatever the chicken was called. Garlic herb roasted chicken. Um, it was white meat chicken um, with just a little tiny bone, no other bones in it, and a butt ton of vegetables. <laughs> That's an official measurement. Yeah. So it was like corn, avocado, carrots, green, green beans. beans. I love that they do not skimp on vegetables on Holland America because I love veggies. So that was really tasty. Mm. I got the ribs. They're the pork ribs. They're the barbecue pork ribs. <laughs> they were tasty, okay. Barbecue sauce, delicious. It came with this thing uh, that was standing up on the plate was kind of like a fried shredded potato preparation. Mm -hmm. Little piece of corn. As I dug underneath the ribs, there was spinach. And when I dug under that, there was onions. It was like unwrapping Christmas. I had <laughs> a rib package for Christmas. Nice. It was really good. Y'all get that. Uh, let's just do, okay, so you had cookies and cream ice cream. They had it tonight. So that's mm -hmm. what I wanted the other night, and it was great. I love cookies and cream ice cream. I also had cookies and cream ice cream, but that's because I got the sticky toffee pudding. Now, the waiter made sure to tell me at least two or three times as I was getting ready to order it that it was dry. I was going to need some ice cream. When he brought it to the table, he reminded me that it was dry <laughs> and that I should eat it with the ice cream. He was right. It was pretty dry. It wasn't as dry as he made it out to seem. Like, it was good. It had great flavor. But it did need some help. So, at least he warned me a, a lot. lot. Yeah, definitely listen to your weight staff. They know what they're talking about. Yeah. And they're phenomenal on here. That's it. Yes. Bedtime. Port day tomorrow. Yeah. More adventures. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we have already gotten up, had breakfast, been to the gym, and now we've come back to the cabin to find a friend. I guess they only do the towel animals and the chocolates on formal nights, which we have three of this sailing. Mm -hmm. Also, got our letter for our customs declaration for Canada, which has to be submitted by Skagway Afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, we have had a work day morning, yeah. a workout morning, mm -hmm. all kind of stuff. So Beautiful sea day out there, though. Yeah, nice and smooth. We are ready to start our afternoon and evening, though. And we are beginning with wine, because why not?
Why not? Yeah, so they're having, it is the James Suckling Great Wines of the World Tasting. And we signed up last night for this with our favorite bartender, mm. Christian from The Rock Room. Yeah, it's the lounge, Rolling Stone Lounge. That. We're so used to calling it Sorry. The Rock Room, but it's not on here. We had bought a bottle of wine. He was like, oh, you like wine. You guys should come to this. So uh, we're going to go check this out. Why not, right? Yeah, wine so not. We've seen that they have like a $25 pre-dinner wine tasting a lot of nights. This is a $39 premium wine tasting, and it's at 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> so post-lunch. We've had no lunch. We haven't really. We had a couple of snacks in the cabin so it'll mm -hmm, and then we'll get some lunch and we're doing a special dinner later which we'll talk about later yeah and um, there's um a talk this afternoon as well you'll see yeah so yeah. let's go do some stuff and things yippee <laughs> come on so this is in the dining room on deck three end of season bling bling oh yeah that's one thing we've been saying is this is the last alaska cruise of the season i wonder if they're going to put some shop stuff on sale or if they would just hold it for another year time will tell <laughs> Oh, yep, they got those 10s, those 11s, because the 12s are officially out now. So you got 250, 350. Binoculars, of course. Welcome to the whining room. Well, they've got a little section here in the back of the dining room. Oh, they have got pairings, one of which is blue cheese. That is my favorite. Yeah, before it gets messed up. Yeah, this is what it looks like now in its pristine condition. That is going to go very quickly. Nice, they've got a little presentation station set up with a microphone and stuff over there. We'll be right here in the front line of the action. Well, welcome again. Thank you so much for coming to my premium wine tasting. As you can see, the chef has taken some trouble, our executive chef, to give you a decent plate. We're going to start with a white, then three reds, and then I'm going to end with a French champagne. ABC, appearance, brightness, and color. Drop it down to the white tablecloth. The wine must have a clean, light tinge of green color to it. And maybe try to the comfort of your stateroom first. We just Look in the mirror while I do slurping. it. Don't have martinis. Oh, you so maybe try well. it with white wine. It does open up a lot. But it really that does strange. work. It really bursts open the flavors. Now we're going to jump into the red wine. The strawberry does not go with the white wine. The strawberry does not go with any of the red wine. You keep the strawberry for last. The mushroom only goes with red. So we didn't we didn't touch that now. The bread you can eat at any time, but again, again, stay away from the lemon. This one is a Pinot Noir. Let's do the ABC of white. Appearance, brightness, and color. What happens when I roll the glass like this? It coats the side of the, the glass with the wine. And then what do I see when I hold it up to the light? Legs. The legs. <gasps> We're smart. What does the legs mean? It means nothing. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> so you're going to take a little bit of the roast beef. You're going to enjoy it, chew it. But you need to give it 10 to 15 seconds to decide. The roast beef is too dominant for the Pinot Noir. Mm. Am I right? Mm. This flavor came through too much. Let's go to the next wine. Stroke this is a long order. shadow wine from Washington. All right, we're going to try our beef with this one. Let's now. try the Syrah again from Washington. But maybe not Not perfect. a perfect match again. <laughs> I hope you have some roast beef there. Let's go to the third one, and we're going to circle back. The wine has a pleasant appearance to it. Smell left to right nostril. I will line up these seams. And I'll just tap underneath the lip of the champagne bottle. Wow. Wow. And right now is a good time champagne, to have the strawberry. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Were you going to talk about the different wines? Yes, okay. So as you enjoy the, the remainder of your wine, sit back, relax, continue eating and drinking and having some of the bubbly, some of the champagne. And uh, we can talk about the power of perception for the next five minutes about different vessels of serving wine. I'm well, we worked our way through all the wines and all the pairings, and yeah, that was fun. End of season clearance. Aha! Now we are headed into the world stage. They're doing a presentation on what to expect on our day in Glacier Bay. Curious to see what Holland does. That is what I need in my life. Holland America has been cruising Alaska for 76 years. We've been entering Glacier Bay since before it was a national park, and because of that, we have more entrances to Glacier Bay than any other cruise company. Tomorrow you are going to get um, your program that will have all of the listing of the events, and it'll also come with a Glacier Bay map. 
So the park rangers will have their ranger station, and then the, then there'll be that Alaska Geographic um, gift shop. And all of that is going to be set up in the crow's nest. Tomorrow on our visit, we're going to be visiting three of those tidewater glaciers. So this was the first tourism in the bay in the late 1800s. We'll be at the Marjorie Glacier from 11 a.m. until 12 noon, and this is our best chance to be able to experience that glacial calving. So I would encourage everybody to be up at the Ranger morning welcome. Again, 8.15, it's in the crow's nest. So we're gonna have the rangers and tables like this on one side, and then we're gonna have the Alaska Geographic set on the other side. So that's gonna be our kind of ranger station, if you will. South Marble Island is an area that the park rangers call the stellar sea lion bachelor pet. Have an amazing day in Glacier Bay tomorrow. Beep, 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 beep. Good evening. evening. Welcome to fancy evening number two. Yeah, we're here already. That's it. It's time for dinner. We are fresh and clean. I've actually been fresh and clean for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been invited to have cocktails with the hotel general manager here at seven o'clock, followed by dinner in the main dining room. I that guess was so sweet. It really <laughs> yeah. was. So very special, touched and honored to receive this invitation. Absolutely. Probably won't record like a ton ton because I don't want to be a dorky goofball with a camera. Well, there's other people going as well and we don't want to bother their experience because if they were invited, it's special for them also. That's true. That's what I meant to say. You said it so much better than me. <laughs> but anyway, dinner time, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> We just had some cocktails in the Pinnacle Bar, and now it is time for the food portion of the evening here on Deck 3. They got the jazz tunes here at the Ocean Bar. to the cabin and found a bunch of paperwork about Glacier Bay for tomorrow and we've got a special gift from our dinner I guess some glasses and I think a copy of the menu mm -hmm. cute good, good night. night we are sleeping it's pretty late it's almost 11 I think yeah mm -hmm. and tomorrow is Glacier Bay which is Ooh. early arrival and beautiful scenery so we want to be awake for all that that's true so yeah. bedtime for now how was your day so good it was so nice to do all the different activities we did from the wine tasting to the talk about Glacier Bay and then to top it all off with the dinner mm -hmm. with um, Julian yes, and Liana. That was really awesome and super sweet and the company that we had with the other guests was amazing. Really good menu. Some of it was similar to what was on the regular menu True. as well. And then we top ended the night with um, the rock band, which mm -hmm. I will say again is the best I've ever heard on any cruise we've been on, and other people are echoing that same response, really. So, yeah, so good. Well, I guess we don't need to go through dinner and just pick it apart. I mean, everything was well, great overall. It was so good. I only had I had uh, one app, one entree, mm -hmm. one dessert. Well, there was only one choice of dessert. <laughs> you saw the pictures though. Super good. It was really tasty and great company, like I said. Yeah. 
That's it, y'all. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. Glacier Bay. Yes. Um, Lots of activities. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Good night. We'll Good see night. you tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>